Well, good morning, everyone. Today's reading from Three Minute Devotions with Andrew Murray, The Ministry of the Spirit. Clearly, you are a letter from Christ, showing the result of our ministry among you. This letter is written not with pen and ink, but with the Spirit of the living God. It is carved not on tables of stone, but on human hearts. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. The Corinthians church was a letter of recommendation. And we can see that in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2, for Paul showing how much he had done for them. Although he claimed nothing for himself, God had enabled him as a minister of the Spirit to write in their hearts with the spirit of the living God. Now, what a wonder. This is a wonderful example of the work of a minister for his people. A preacher prepared to be a minister of the spirit with the power to write in the hearts of his people the name and the love of Christ. No wonder Paul speaks of how all of us who have had the veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more and more like him as we are changed into his glorious image. And we see that in verse 18. May God restore the ministry of the gospel to its original power. If only ministers and people of the church would unite in the prayer that God, by the working of his Spirit, would give the ministry of the Spirit its right place. We need to pray that God will teach the people to believe that when Christ is preached to them, they are seen as in a mirror the glory of the Lord and may be changed into the same image by the Spirit of the Lord. Well, Father, I join my faith with others, trusting you will teach us to open our hearts and churches to the work of the Holy Spirit, giving him freedom to move and to minister, Lord, as you direct. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning. It's always an honor and a privilege to have you come along with me as we go through these classic devotionals and this one by Andrew Murray. May the Lord bless you and keep you and lift up his countenance upon you, make his face shine upon you and give you peace until later on. God bless your day.